Hi everyone, uh, it's Bimo. Today, hopefully, I could somehow help made uh, the new and the latest uh, Park Flies International Sukhoi 37 Flanker F. And right now, I have it side by side with um, the Sukhoi 34B, the earlier version of um, PI uh, Sukhoi series. Um, Let's have a look on, on this uh, Sukhoi 37. <coughs> it basically shares the same um, wing shape, elevons, and as well as the um, canards. Several main differences between the Sukhoi 37 and the Sukhoi 34B are uh, the fuselage, right? The fuselage within this SU-37 and SU-34B. And then, um, if we have a closer look at this, the SU-37 has battery tray here, but the SU-34B uh, place it pla it's it's placing the battery on top of the wing plate. And another minor uh, difference between the difference between the uh, SU-37 and 30. Uh, 4B is actually the fins, the vertical stabilizers. Um, it levels with the wing plate, but this actually it's angled down uh, to its trailing edge. Um, most of all, it shares lots of uh, common um, the nacelles, right? And I really, really, really love the nose droops of the this SU-37 um, <coughs> it also oh by the way since it has lower battery placement so now it has sort of um, <coughs> double plates double deprom plates um, underneath the wing plate to hold the uh, battery in place and I don't have any, I don't install any rudders on this. Um, I just love to fly without rudders. So hopefully the maiden will go well today. Okay guys, uh, moment of truth. Uh, I was gonna be the maiden flight of this SU-37, uh, Park, Park, Park Flyers International SU-37 uh, Flank Ref. Um, all has been checked, ailerons has been checked, elevons have been checked, and um, throttle has been checked as well. Uh, I'm really excited about the new design um, as it represents uh, scale, fuselage, um, as well as, as the wing plates, knots, um, elevons, as well as the uh, vertical stabilizers. Um, it's very cloudy at the moment, so I'm, I think I'm going to be racing with the weather today uh, to have this uh, maiden flight. Okay, let's see how it goes. Okay. Pre-check everything again. Okay. Um, Motor's good. Again, okay. ailerons, ailerons. Okay, here we go. Very stable, very stable at hand launch. Okay, let's have a, uh, a low pass first. Very nice. Very seems very efficient, just as the um, SU-34B. Let's have another low pass at about 30% throttle. Very nice. The wind starts to picking up.
very stable, so I think I'm gonna try to get it at 70% throttle. Very nice loop. Very nice split edge. Unlimited vertical. Seems very, very stable. Um, I can almost see no difference with this SU34B with different uh, battery placement. Oh man, just as Scott said in his video, um, Scott Challenger with his uh, SU35, I really, really love the two lines on this uh, new Park Forest International SU37. Okay, let's have a close bypass at 40%. Wow, it's good. It's really good. It's really good. Really good. Wow. Man, it's awesome. Awesome. Awesome, very aerobatic, very nimble. Very stable on inverted flight. Man, I almost don't touch it. The pitch on inverted. Let's try Cobra. Very nice. The wind sort of um, make the um, almost ruin the uh, Cobra maneuver. Oh, very nice. Very nice Cobra maneuver. Very nice. Oh man, I think <laughs> I think it's another winner from uh, Park Flyers International. Uh, my colleague Jeff Reimer in Canada uh, had flown his and it's about 110% size, bigger size than this. And uh, it's equipped with uh, twin motors and it flew amazingly because of the much, much bigger thrust generated by two, two motors. Okay, I haven't tried the, I haven't tried the roll. Very nice roll rate. Oh man, this is so amazing. Roll ref, okay. Outside, oh, flip, forward flip, 
<laughs> nice forward flip. Oh my god, it's just so amazing. I really love it. It's another winner. Close, fast by. And it's good. Okay, let me try it full speed. It levels, it doesn't zoom in. Wow, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, I think I'm gonna land this um, shortly. The first alarm has buzzed. Landing, left. It's quite disturbing now. <laughs> okay. Let me have a longer approach for landing. Okay. The maiden fight was a successful event of this um, Pop Fires International at U37. Um, I'm almost speechless with this one and it has very very nice SU or Sukhoi scale lines on vertical stabilizers, fuselage, canopy, canards, wing plate, elevons, nacelles, oh man this is totally a winner, another winner from um, uh, my colleague Scott Challenger, Challenger, Challenger um, <coughs> has modified his uh, SU-37 into SU-35 and um, we have the cutting lines for um, any builders, choice of builders, uh, whether it's going to be SU-37 or SU-35. So one plane could somehow end up with two different planes, almost the same actually, but SU-35 will be without canards and slightly angled down at the trailing edge of the uh, vertical stabilizers. Uh, a successful maiden fight of uh, Park Flyers International SU-37. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers guys.